All right, guys, so uh, I did not get up this morning. And uh, Minnesota boys were outside having some coffee and walked in and said, uh, man, we got some turkey. We got some turkey out there. We're gonna go get them. I said, all right, well, I'll meet you here in a few minutes. So they, uh, they go get set up and ready. I went and met them and uh, I was sitting there about 15 minutes. We had a guy would respond. And we finally got visual on him. He's about 160 yards, probably. We uh, called for a second, and all of a sudden he comes hauling. He's he runs about 25 yards, then puts the brakes on, and uh, he responds for about 10 minutes. Obviously, there was something he didn't like. He turns around and leaves. We got a little bit of footage. I hope you can see him. I don't know. We were going through some had the camera kind of going through some trees, but. Uh, we're gonna go have some breakfast, regroup, and uh, go back after them here shortly. Breakfast is served. Worth the wait? Worth every second of the wait, baby. What, five hours of waiting? <laughs> five hours <laughs> we finally got him. And the pigs finally show up. Yeah, they gave us a little teaser about two hours ago. Okay. All right, guys. So we've been sitting here forever. And uh, about four or five hours. These pigs crossed us once, never come out of the woods. So we just kept sitting here and waiting and anyway, had a turkey come out, heard a couple different uh, pig, no, you know, pigs making noise. None of them ever showed up. Finally, there's a, uh, how many was there? Seven? Two big ones, four, two, four big pigs, four, uh, four little piglets. Anyways, saving ear holes one. We got one run out the other way. We got to go find him. But uh, anyway, we got this one here, ear hold on the ground. Nice shot. <laughs> all right, so we have looked all over for the second pig. We watched the video, it was lined up with him. We know we hit him. There's, there's just no way, which uh, you'll be able to, you're gonna see the video, you can make the decision. But uh, we, we've searched everywhere. This pig is not down. So anyway, we come back up to load this other pig up, and uh, we notice what the what the problem is. We have found the problem. This pig probably was not hit. If he was, it wasn't very very hard. Three oh eight, right through. Uh, through the leg. Right through the center of it. Again. <laughs> I yeah. thought I heard a ping. 
Last year we had a pig down and uh, we went go and pick him up and he is actually dead. But the, it went through the same a pole, just like this. It went right through a pole and killed him. This exact same time last year, last trip when they were down here, <laughs> this exact same thing happened other than the pig was dead last time. But uh, I'll see if I can find a picture of that. But uh, anyways, we gotta, we're gonna load this pig up, go get it cleaned up and uh, get ready for the night hunt. One fifty-eight, boys. Brad set us up real nice on a spot. He's been baiting for a little bit now. Took us about five hours for these pigs to come in. We got a real good glimpse at them about three hours earlier, and that's what kept us on the stand. When they finally came in, we ear hold one and shot through a pipe trying to get the other one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll butcher this one up and get something to eat. Go back out later tonight. First pig we ever done in the daylight, isn't it? I believe this is the first pig we've done in daylight. These areas that look like they're uh, caverns, these used to be the pork chop. This is where the front shoulder roast came out of. These are the hams. We're gonna take a sawzall, we're gonna come right in here, right to the bottom of the hip, we're gonna come across here, and if you'll notice, all of the guts remain in the chest cavity. We grab it by the ear, drag it off to the ditch, and then shoot the coyotes to come to take a peek. <laughs> Fresh, real grand turkey. Turkey kebabs. <laughs> the recipe brought straight from Minnesota. Now we, I took this turkey uh, a couple days ago and uh, brought it out here to the ranch. We're going to cook it up for tonight and uh, that's going to be dinner. We got uh, turkey wrapped bacon, bell peppers, onions, and then soaked in soy sauce. Sprinkle on some garlic powder and Lowry seasoning and then throw it on the grill. 20 right. minutes, done. Well, it looks good. I can't wait till it's done. We're gonna sit down and enjoy it and then we're gonna get back at it. We're gonna go back out hunting. These pigs are relentless. They, uh, we, we've, we've hunted them all day and they'll be back again tonight. So we're gonna get, we're gonna eat some dinner and get back at it. All right, they are prepared now and they're going on the grill. All right, how is it saving? It's one of the best things that I've ever had, ever. Hands <laughs> down, perfect. This gentleman is a chef. The, the recipe is from my beautiful girlfriend, Marie. <laughs> Thanks for letting me come to Texas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just gonna tell you. I've eaten turkey for a long time, made it all different kinds of ways. I honestly have never had it this good. You gotta try it. He gave you the, uh, he gave you the uh, recipe or ingredients he put, up, put on it. And uh, you gotta try it, I'm telling you. It is absolutely amazing. All right guys, so we just got done eating about an hour ago. And, uh, about every 30 minutes I check the feeder which is about 400 yards away with the thermal and uh, anyways we had a pig down there so all three of us walked down there we counted out one two three boom shot him uh, I don't know where we shot him yet but I was walking back up here to get the mule we walked about halfway back up here and I told them hey I'll grab it and come pick you up anyways as I'm up on my way up here I turn around and look and we got two more pigs already there they're 10 yards from the pig we just shot so we're about to get down there and get on these two pigs and see if we can knock them down with the other one that's already there
another <laughs> pretty another, good. Another beautiful night in Texas. Yeah, oh, it was a real good night. A lot of humping, a lot of a lot of a lot of walking. We got on them. We put a couple of them down. Wouldn't have been nice to put that third one down, but uh, we might have to look at the footage. I don't know what I was doing. We chased. <laughs> <laughs> we chased eight. We had eight walk up in between. Was it in between? Yeah, yep. in between these two that were here yeah, and the we one. Tried to chase down. them back down to the feeders and couldn't catch up to them. Yep. Yeah, we don't know where they stopped or if they left the property, but uh, they're not here. We tried to catch them. What? How far did we go? Half mile? Mile? Yeah, half least. mile of running. At least. Anyways, good shooting, yeah. boys. Oh, that is going to screw some knives up. You just thought we were going to bed early and waking up and turkey hunting. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're fixing to get back up to camp, butcher these down. We got to get to bed. We got some turkey hunting to do in the morning. Let these boys from Minnesota show you how to call these turkey in. Anyways, uh, we're going to wrap it up here. We're heading to bed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.